Tenerife lap arm of volcano eruption could trigger mega tsunami. Tenerife would be hit by a tsunami less than an hour after an eruption occurred on its neighboring island, in a devastating natural disaster that could produce waves three times higher than ever recorded. The Cumbavaya volcano is located on the island of La Palma, just a few hundred meters off the shore of Tenerife and is part of an active, albeit currently dormant, volcanic ridge. It has erupted twice in the last seven decades, first in 1949 and then 1971, but over the last few years, thousands of tremors have rumbled from the giant, leading scientists to fear it could erupt in the future. Researchers say a volcanic eruption would not only cause devastation for the Canary Islands from the initial blast but could trigger a vast undersea landslide, too. This would set off a tsunami wave capable of inundating coastal regions thousands of kilometers away, as well as devastating the islands eastwards within 15 minutes to an hour. The warning came from Dr. Stephen Ward, of the University of California, US, and Dr. Simon Day, of the Benfield Grey Eagle Hazard Research Center at University College London, UK. Writing in Geophysical Research Letters, they refined an earlier estimate of the likely consequences of the collapse of the western flank of the volcano. They believe a buildup of groundwater could destabilize a block of rock up to 500 kilometers in size, which could break off in a future eruption, rushing into the sea at up to 350 kilometers an hour, 220 miles per hour. The dome of water it caused would be 900 meters, 2950 feet high, and the resulting tsunami, higher than any in recorded history, would travel outwards in an arc formation, reaching speeds of 800 km an hour, 500 miles per hour. Waves 100 m, 330 feet, high would strike the African coast, while northeastwards they would affect Spain, Portugal, and France, and could still be approaching 12 m, 40 feet, when they hit the UK. That is almost three times the maximum recorded after the Lisbon earthquake of 1755. Dr. Day said the waves striking the UK coast would not penetrate more than two or three kilometers inland. He told the BBC in 2003, weird things happen when tsunamis enter harbors or estuaries. If those resonate at a certain frequency, that may substantially increase the damage. But fears are heightened across the Atlantic, where waves could reach heights of 40 meters, 130 feet, heading towards northern Brazil. Dr. Day added, it's entirely possible you see 50 meter waves coming ashore in Florida, New York, Boston, all the way up to Greenland, and in some cases reaching up to 10 kilometers inland. And that would be about nine hours or more after the initial collapse. But Dr. Day said there is no reason to fear just yet. He reassured that a collapse was unlikely this century, and perhaps for many centuries. It could take several eruptions to destabilize the volcano enough to dislodge the western flank, and collapse would occur only after days or weeks of seismic activity. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.